Well, here we go again with HDMI. If it's not the Extended Display Identification Data, or EDID, causing problems, it's HDCP causing problems. And if it's not HDCP causing problems, it's the HDMI chipset itself. And uh, I've run into problems with HDMI chipsets on various products. Specifically with me, I had an Onkyo, or well, a couple of Onkyo amps go because of the HDMI on them. Got overheated. <laughs> Uh, but that's not what we're talking about today. What we're actually talking about today is the fact that there is a potential bug in the HDMI chipset that was made by Panasonic and is being used by Denon, Marantz and Yamaha, to name a few. And in fact, it seems that Sony, Onkyo and others are also going to be using this chipset. So basically, the problem is going to affect anyone buying a 2020 amplifier with HDMI 2.1 capability. And uh, I'm just going to read this here. Let me just uh, highlight this whole thing and I'll read you the whole thing. It says, a German website, Heiser DE, has discovered a bug in HDMI 2.1 chipset that causes black screen issues on specific hardware. On AV chipsets sourced by Panasonic and used by Denon, Marantz and Yamaha, and it will affect others as well because I'm hearing that uh, both Sony and Onkyo have also <laughs> sourced this chip as well. So they're going to have problems as well. But anyway, and Yamaha HDMI 2.1 AV receivers, the chipset experiences a specific issue of a black screen. More specifically, the bug happens once you connect Microsoft's newest console, Xbox Series X, or NVIDIA's Ampere graphics cards. Uh, there's no talk yet about uh, AMD cards, and, and I've no idea whether it will affect AMD as well, but hopefully we'll hear about that in due course. Anyway, let's carry on. When connecting these sources at resolutions like 4K 120Hz HDR, and 8K, 100, uh, 8K 60 Hz HDR to Panasonic HDMI 2.1 chipsets, the black screen happens. This represents a major problem. <laughs> you don't say. For every manufacturer planning to use the Panasonic HDMI 2.1 chipset in its AV receivers, meaning that the issue has to be addressed. And uh, I, I won't go on any more there. What I will do, though, is bring this up here. As you can see, this is the official response from Sound United. And that's here. And then there was an official response from Yamaha referring to this as well. Now, if we go in here, <laughs> it, it, it gives you some solutions <laughs> of a sort. But before we go into that, I just want to basically lay out again what this bug is and the problem it causes. As I've already said, it causes a black screen with 4K 120 hertz and 8K 60 hertz when using HDR. So what's happening is when people are connecting up their Xboxes to their shiny new televisions that can handle 120 hertz, and they're connecting them through one of these amplifiers, they're just getting a black screen. And uh, <laughs> yeah, um, basically the, the, the situation is that they're not getting the functionality that has been advertised, you know, with these consoles and with these amps and with these televisions. So the situation at the moment is, there isn't a way of getting 120 hertz at 4K to your television if you're using a current or certainly a, a 2020 home cinema amp that has HDMI 2.1 because there's a problem with HDMI 2.1. Now, as I've already said, this may not affect uh, uh, AMD cards, we don't know yet, and I, I, I'll need to look that up and see if there's any more information regarding that, but I haven't heard anything yet. And given that the AMD cards either aren't in the wild yet or are just arrived in the wild, we may not hear about this for a little while. 
The other thing is that uh, people are saying that this may not be an issue for the PlayStation 5 because it uses a fixed rate link, so the output isn't variable. And that might be the problem. This can't handle a variable out output. So it, it basically just doesn't sync the image and you get this black screen, which is the kind of black screen that you would normally get when you've got an HDCP issue or something like that. So anyway, as it stands, <laughs> it's pretty unclear whether there will be a solution. And as I've highlighted here, you can see it says, <laughs> this is from Sound United. You can connect the system to the display directly via HDMI and use the display's ARC or eARC functionality to feed the native audio back to the AVR using the connected HDMI cable between the AVR and the display. This will allow users to decode the native audio format sent from the source. With this method, the display's CEC ARC option must be enabled as well as the AVR's HDMI control and or the AVR's ARC option. In the AVR, this option is located with, uh, and it goes on anyway, um, it says another workaround <laughs> is to leave or change the source's video output to 4K 60 instead of 4K 120 hertz. So <laughs> thanks for that. So you've just brought, you know, bought yourself a shiny new Xbox or a shiny new 3080 for your PC, and you've bought yourself a shiny new amplifier from Denon, Marantz, and many others, and you've got yourself your nice OLED <laughs> C-series <laughs> TV, and you turn your Xbox on, set it to 120 hertz, and you get a lovely black screen. Wonderful. And, uh, yeah... Yeah, this is where we stand at the moment. And and as I say, I don't know uh, whether this is going to affect Sony or not. Uh, I've not heard, and I need to do a little bit more research on that and find out if there's any more information out there. But as it stands, I wouldn't be buying one of these amps at all. Not if you're using it for gaming systems. Because while you know we've heard that it may work with Sony, and we don't know whether it's going to work with AMD graphics cards, we do know that it doesn't work with Xbox. We do know that it doesn't work with NVIDIA <laughs> 30 series graphics cards that have HDMI 2.1. And so you're going to be stuck and you're going to have to run at 60 hertz, which kind of defeats the object of buying a new amp because a lot of people went out to buy these new amps specifically to go with these new TVs and new games consoles and new graphics cards. So yeah, it's not great. The other option that they that I've heard mooted was that you could actually turn off HDR and that might solve it. But again, I, I don't really know at this stage and it's very much up in the air. Um, if I just go over to a Reddit post, this actually was something that stuck with me because they're saying, you know, stop posting in other forums and just post here. But the, the, the pertinent parts are here. It says Cliff Notes. <laughs> so this basically sums it up. Yes, there is an issue. If you haven't already purchased an HDMI 2.1 AVR, then hold off. And, and I would echo that. I would say definitely don't be buying one of these now. Wait and find out if it can be solved. The official solution is to hook up any HDMI 2.1 devices to your display, which I've already said, you know, this was something that was uh, mentioned by uh, <laughs> Sound United, who make Denon and Marantz amps hook directly up to your display rather than through your amp and then use eARC or ARC. Now, <laughs> again, you know, it's a workaround, but it's not really a solution. And the reason you buy one of these amps or one of the reasons you buy one of these amps is to route everything through it and then just have one cable to your TV. So this is defeating the object. Uh, the other thing they, they say here is if ARC doesn't support uh, eARC, uh, the $150 uh, Den Audio Shark is the prescribed solution. Uh, that allows you to get eARC to, uh, from your television to your amp uh, if you've got problems with that. But I'm not going to go into that here. It's not something I've really looked into myself. But the first two here <laughs> are interesting, yeah. I, I mean, you know, this is where we are. Uh, HDMI 2.1 isn't currently working as it should on 2020 amplifiers from Marantz, uh, Denon, 
Sony, as far as I'm aware, Onkyo, basically anyone who uses this Panasonic chipset. So I, it, the reason I'm putting this up is because obviously this has been around for a while now, this story. And uh, when was it? This this actual uh, story itself was was put up on October the 27th. So it's been around for a while now. But I haven't heard many gaming sites talking about this. And I do know that, you know, a lot of gamers are going to be going out and, and maybe buying new kit this year. Maybe coming up to Christmas, they want to buy a new amp to go with their telly and all the rest of it. And I would say, as they say here, <laughs> hold off. Don't buy a 2020 amp. And I know I keep saying that, but, I, you know, I was looking myself to, to maybe upgrade my amplifier. And I'm definitely not going to be doing that until at least... We hear if there's a, a permanent solution, and I mean a proper solution, not not you know refunds or <laughs> partial refunds or collect, connect it up directly to your telly and use eARC. These aren't real solutions. These aren't proper solutions. A proper solution will be if there's a way they can update this with firmware. But I'm hearing, I'm hearing that that may not be possible, and so you're going to be stuck if you buy one of these amps. So as I say, I keep repeating it. Don't buy a 2020 home cinema amplifier with HDMI 2.1 if you are looking to use it with a 3080 or a 30 series graphics card, an Xbox, possibly an AMD graphics card, the new ones with HDMI 2.1 capability, and also possibly with Sony PlayStation. I don't know. It might work. But even then, you know, do you want a half-assed, half-baked version of HDMI 2.1? Or do you want the full fat version that works as it is advertised? Because at the moment, it doesn't work as advertised. And if you decide later on down the line that you want to go and buy an Xbox and add that to your system, as well as your PlayStation, even if the PlayStation works, your Xbox still isn't going to work if they don't solve this and get it sorted out. So anyway, look, you know, uh, <laughs> it's just a warning. Don't buy a 2020 home cinema amp. I know I keep saying it. Anyway, I'm done. I'm going to go and get myself a cup of tea and I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.